Hello, my name is Nathaniel Johnson, and I have a question for Eduardo. I work with a community organization. Uh, I hear you speak a lot about bringing the community together. How do you plan to bring such a diverse community together? The 21st district is the most diversified district, and it's divided. And I don't know why it's divided. We should be as one, because when we become together as a district, we're going to be very strong. And then my vision is that all these different pack, uh, different packs that we have to the district, we got to come together. And how are we going to do it? Through communication. I think the worst problem that we have is that we don't communicate. We got to go and get together, have meetings. And, and I want to hear as a councilman what the community needs, what's the needs and wants. Because at the end of the day, we all share the same needs and wants. And we all want the same thing, the best for our families, and we're going to be a part of the American system and live the American dream. How are we going to do it? We're going to, we're going to use technology. We're going to use communications through the city council office. And we're going to use the leaders of each community. We have, I have identified that every part of the district has different leaders. But unfortunately, they're not together. I think we have to get the council of leaders of the district. And I think that's what I will call it, the council of leaders of the district, so we can send the message to the district. And we can teach the district a lot of things that we need. And that will be part of my, uh, my part when I'm in the city council. Buenas noches, mi nombre es Luis Eduardo Acosta, soy artista de profesión. Eh, la pregunta mía es para la señora Yulisa Ferreras. Eh, hace dos meses y medio más o menos fui contactado por su oficina para que le, le prestara parte de mi obra, nueve pinturas. Eh, me iban a dar un dinero como a, a cambio pues, de, de, de la prestada de mis obras. Ahora, yo hice eso, presté mi obra, fueron nueve pinturas pero este mi obra para que usted hiciera su inauguración, embelleciera su, su recinto para la inauguración y resulta que nunca hubo dinero para mí por eso, se me negó que había dinero para eso y fuera de eso, cuando yo pedí que mi obra fuera de vuelta, no me devolvió la totalidad de mis pinturas. Hasta el día de hoy una de mis pinturas está perdida. Llamo a su oficina, hablo con el señor Ángel, he hablado con Ángel, Jay, Cristina, con mucha gente de su oficina y, y no hay respuesta. La última respuesta que me dio el señor Ángel es que la pintura no está allá y que no saben qué pasó con ella. Entonces yo necesito que a mí me respondan por mi, por mi obra. Es uno de mis bebés, es una obra de arte. Que yo con mucho gusto la facilité porque había una promesa de dinero a cambio de eso. Y ahora ustedes, ahora ustedes su oficina, me responde que no tienen eh, noción de eso. ¿Qué pasó con eso? O sea, que aquí lo que estamos corroborando es lo que se ha venido diciendo de usted, de usted, señora Yulisa Ferreras, que el dinero de Libre se perdió y hasta ahora no hay nadie que responda por eso. Y ahora yo puedo corroborar con mi obra de arte, que fue un préstamo a cambio de dinero, vuelvo y lo digo, que nunca se me, se me, se me dio ese dinero y ahora, eh, sobre todo, sobre todas estas cosas, se pierde una pintura y no hay quien me responda. Por favor, señora, gastemos un poquito de honestidad y no juguemos con el trabajo de las personas, sobre todo con el trabajo de un artista. Le agradecería mucho que o mi obra fuera de vuelta o se pagara por eso. This is going to be the last question for both candidates. La última pregunta para los dos candidatos. Uh, my, my name is Horacio Povera and um, when I knew about this meeting, I thought that it was important uh, to come by and, 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 and ask something that has been my concern uh, is regarding the quality of life of, of our neighborhood. Uh, for years, we've seen that this has been uh, deteriorated and nothing really has happened uh, to improve. Uh, for the candidates, what would be the right plan to improve the, uh, the quality of life of the Jackson Heights? Well, quality of life, I think, is one of the most important things of our district because we don't, we, we cannot live like poor people. I think we got too much garbage on the streets, and we gotta clean the streets. We don't have enough garbage cans. And as a matter of fact, when I'm walking the district, I see a lot of corners that have no garbage cans. In Astoria Boulevard, there's no garbage cans. We need garbage cans. We need to clean Roosevelt Avenue, and we need to teach people, and we need to start a program. See. Being a councilman is not that I'm going to do everything for the community, but I think if we form alliances and we work together 
and we learn to teach our children and teach ourselves to not throw garbage on the floor and be a part, be a part of, the, of the, uh, the community that we love, then we can start changing. Quality life is so important. And I make sure when I'm the city council that I work with the non for profits who want to work on cleaning the streets, that we have a beautiful Jackson Heights, Corona, East Elmers, and Elmers. Because tourism is coming to our district, and I will make sure that I will bring jobs and economic development. So quality of life is one of my priorities for my district. Now that, uh, that we come to the conclusion of this uh, forum, I would like to say that, that uh, unfortunately we had to come to this forum and not having Julissa Ferreira, once again, we've been invited to a lot of forums and we have asked non for profits to please host a forum for the community. But she has not, she hasn't show up and she hasn't want to participate. Her constituency, the people of this community need to ask her questions. Where are you, Julissa? Where are you hiding? Why don't you tell the community with the questions that we want to hear? Why don't you engage me in a conversation? Because I, I think it's, the constitution has the right to make the choice and playing political tricks that you have been playing, like the race thing and not showing up and ignoring me as the candidate, I think is very uncool. I would like the people to please call her office and, and tell her to show up. You do one better. September 15, you come and vote for Eduardo Giraldo, somebody who has leadership, honesty, and integrity. Somebody who's gonna bring jobs, will take care of our children, education, our senior citizens and quality of life. September 15th, you gotta come out and vote for Eduardo Giraldo because this district needs change. This district needs vision and has the best opportunity for now. And the person who can help this district is Eduardo Giraldo. September 15th, vote for Eduardo Giraldo. We thank the Community Alliance for Progress, the candidate Eduardo Giraldo, and each one of you for your participation here tonight in this uh, great forum. And remember, September 15, your vote counts. Les agradecemos a la comunidad por, del, a la comunidad por el progreso, a Eduardo Giraldo como candidato, y cada uno de ustedes por la participación de esta noche con sus preguntas y respuestas. Y su voto cuenta y háganlo contar en septiembre 15. Gracias.